like this was the best piece of advice that you received from anyone in this profession and how has it impacted you would you say um god gave you two eyes and one mouth okay god gave you two ears <laughs> i like that and one, one. Mouth. definitely um listen mm -hmm. listen and see before you, you speak okay. so i mean that should be the golden rule of policing is listen and watch mm -hmm. before you speak definitely definitely i agree i think a lot can be yeah a lot can be uh, achieved just by listening to people and by watching uh watching behaviors when you're interviewing someone if you listen to what they're saying and watching their behavior as they're saying it uh say it's an interrogation you can pick up on micro expressions you can pick up on body language mm -hmm. that shows deception or nervousness uh you interview a, a victim if you listen to them it shows compassion to them and you're not fiddling and writing down you're actually looking at them observing their body language and listening to what they say mm -hmm. to see if the two are congruent with each other yeah, you'll, get so much, you'll get so much farther in this career if you listen and you watch before you speak when you first started did you have like a mentor or uh, someone that you that you like refer to now as like a mentor because I know we all kind of have someone we looked up to so who would you who was I your did. mentor um, he was um, the he was a retired detective who was the commander uh, at for the Zane State Police Academy it was Tom Holdren his name is mm -hmm. Tom Holdren um, he was the commander in the police academy but he was also the uh, program director for the criminal justice program at Zane State so remember, I went through Zane State first for the mm -hmm. associate degree before I went through the police academy. I honestly, my intention was to become a lab rat. You know, I wanted to do forensics. Mm -hmm. And then one biology class in, in the associate degree program was like, nope, that's not, that's not your strong point. <laughs> you couldn't figure and then the, the probability. Civil liabilities class happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, it was funny because Tom Holdren was a huge, huge influence in my life and um, and in my career, uh, in my career path. Um, huge influence, influence for me. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, how?